Okay, this is how we grow guava in, in Taiwan. So this is my guava tree. I only have one, which is more than enough. Uh, the guava tree in Taiwan basically gives you fruit the whole year around. And let me show you something. So this tree, uh, you can see I have two, pretty much grown up guava, which I will pick up in a moment. I have small ones, which I'm going to pick up in, in the back to protect them from uh, all kind of uh, bugs or like it. And you also can see that actually it's also still giving me uh, flowers. So the guava tree in Taiwan basically, again, you know, it gives you guava throughout the whole year. Uh, I like to divide them into two groups, the, the summer guava and the winter guava. And personally, I, th I find the winter guava uh, more crispy and, and sweeter. It also grow much slower than in, in the summer. Uh, I give the normal fertilizer every three weeks, a little bit around the tree. And the only thing you have to watch out are all these bugs, the avids, which live together with the ants. So I pretty much check every two weeks if there are any avids under the under leaves. You can find them easily. Ah, here we go. You see? So uh, we don't like this bug. So the way to prevent them is to keep the tree pretty much clean uh, in the middle so you have a good flow of wind. And if you encounter them, you, you soap. Or what I normally do, I just take my finger and, and wash them away. See? Now, what we also do here is, is pack them. So we can buy this in bags of 100, which is actually let me show you it's this piece which go around the guava this is smaller so and then we tie it up with a plastic bag and it's pretty neat you don't have to worry about bugs eating your uh, your guava so i'm going to pick up a couple of guavas and i will show you in a moment in in the next video section Okay, so I have one tree, which is more than enough. We have a small family and uh, it's great. You pick up the guava in the morning and you make your chews or you eat them by hand. It's really good and all organic. You see here, I can sh here you can see how we uh, duck packed with the, you know, just slide it over. And uh, the next step is just put the, the, the plastic around, which is Pretty easy and it's pretty cheap. You don't use this. Use a lot of uh, stuff to protect your fruit. It's a great idea. Then tie it up. So here is my pickup of today. Uh, a little more than I uh, wanted, but I have to pick them up. Otherwise, they uh, they will rot, and I have to throw them away. And you keep them uh, for a good period of time in your in your refrigerator. Uh, they look pretty good, good size and clean. And let me show you what happens if you don't pack them properly. Uh, this one was not packed properly, you see. Now this can still be eaten, so I just wash it, but it doesn't look so good. So all the farmers here growing guava, they like to pack it up properly. So when they pick it up, it's clean and you can just sell it away uh, right away. Um, what I will do is normally I will wash it and then dry them up with my uh, air compressor and move them inside. So uh, that's it my friends. Uh, this is how we grow guava in, Japan, in Taiwan and uh, they're delicious. Okay, see you next time. Bye for now.